Well, good morning, YouTube. Jim again with you. And that behind me is the Manistee River. And I am on the Manistee River Trail again. Thought it might be a good time for a channel update and just to clue you in on what I've been doing. So basically, since I crashed last summer on the mountain bike, I have decided it is no longer prudent for me to be shredding trails in my late 60s. I got lucky when I crashed last year in that I only cracked a rib and uh, separated my shoulder. That could have been much, much worse than it was. So decided that this year, instead of bike packing the Colorado Trail, I would hike the Colorado Trail. Last time I was out there, I just wanted to know what it was like to hike it. This year, I want to finish the entire trail. So I've come here to the Manistee River North Country Trail and spent a total of four nights so far. Tonight will be my last night. Just testing gear and seeing how different things work. Trying to get a handle on what supplies I need. How long does my power pack last? Can I really get by on just having a bar for breakfast in the morning? And in general, what I've learned, there's a lot of room for improvement. My power pack has plenty of power, but it won't charge my Garmin Instinct watch that I rely on. But it's been a good test so far. Today is going to be hot. When I started, it was cool and rainy, so I've had an excellent opportunity to, to know that the clothes that I have are likely to work or not. And overall, uh, a very worthwhile experience. So the first two nights, especially the morning after, were kind of tough because I thought I had back pain. Then I noticed that it was pain right over and right behind both of my kidneys. And I thought, you know, I might be dehydrated. I might not be getting enough fluid. So on day three, I deliberately started drinking more and voila, no more back pain. Forest Service put in this new bridge the last time I was here. Last fall, I had to ford up Slagle Creek back there, and it was tough because of the steepness of the bank. It's kind of interesting, as you can see this bright green strip. It's where they have the uh, heavy equipment coming in. Nature's recovering already. Very nice bridge. Well, I'm down here at Slagle Creek admiring the new bridge, but more importantly, getting water from the creek. Wonderful water after you filter it. And I noticed something interesting. Here is one of the actual places where the water runs out from the hillside and then flows into the creek. You can see it's undercut a bit. I thought that was kind of neat. Don't often get to see that here. And that would explain why they put these drain pipes underneath the bridge, presumably to keep the water from eroding underneath the bridge like it did over there. I learned something from a friend of mine a few years ago. I probably should have known, but I didn't. But if you see that very neat line on the bottom of the tree, it's almost as if they've been landscaped. That's the browse line. That is the highest that deer can reach up and nibble off the lower parts of the trees. So what you're seeing is landscaping by white-tailed deer. Something else that I thought I'd share, tips for older hikers or maybe less uh, fit hikers. If you're hiking along, and you start having some sort of a joint or muscle pain, first thing you might want to try, slow your pace. It's worked for me several times. Start having a little 
ache in a tendon or a warning sign from a knee. Slowed my pace down and you know what? Got better. Here's an interesting bend in the river. See, it makes quite the hairpin there. Hillside's really eroded, and you can see the dark lines where the water level is as it's coming out. But what's interesting is over here, you can see how thin that piece of land has become. And if the power company that runs the dam ever lets a lot of water out, or if we just get a hard enough rain, at some point, the water is going to rise up and crest through and cut a new channel. And then all this back here will become just a backwater. So if you're thinking about doing a long distance hike, think about doing a five day trial run first to see, you know, how your consumables are, uh, to make sure that everything is gonna last as long as you need it to last, to make sure that your diet, uh, you got the food that you want for that. And I mean, nobody's gonna get in serious trouble after just five days, but the point isn't to just have type two fun. You might wanna have some regular fun along the way and uh, just enjoy things. So, hope this helps. And uh, if something happens as I continue my training to get ready for Colorado Trail hike, I'll possibly put up a video. But for now, time to get out of these gnats that are starting to wake up and get back on the trail. See you later.